What's going on ladies and gentlemen, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, and welcome back to another video here on Pig City Hockey. We're going to be continuing the list that we started yesterday about the top 5 Winnipeg Jets so far by the Christmas break of the 2021-2022 season. And the last week, yesterday's video, excuse me, we covered Nate Schmidt as being my number 5 pick on this list, about how he's been a really good rebounding season for him, the price we paid for him, how he has also helped rebound Josh Morrissey's game to where it was a couple years ago, and it's just been a really important glue guy for this new budding team uh, defensive core, excuse me, that is the Winnipeg Jets. And in today's video, we're going to be turning around and talking about the other side of the Winnipeg Jets' most important part of their team, goaltending. Obviously, I could put Connor Hellebuck at number one on this list because he's been a god for a very long time. That Vezina banner should say enough. But nonetheless, there are three other players that have been immaculate to start this season, even in the rough spans, they've been great, uh, and I had to put Connor Hellebuck at four. It's no knock on him, he could have easily been number one, but when you look at the seasons the other three players on my list have been having, I just couldn't put him any higher than four. Connor Hellebuck, though, in this season has still been fantastic. Let's go over his stats real quick, and you will see why Connor Hellebuck is Connor Hellebuck and the god that he is. He has started 24 games so far this season. He was out for, I believe, four games in early November when I was in Winnipeg, just my luck, having a uh, son with his uh, wife or a girlfriend, I'm pretty sure it's his wife, but nonetheless, uh, congratulations to him again, and that's awesome, glad that you're starting that family, it's a great chapter in all of our lives, and you know, hope, you, hope you're having a great Christmas, hello buck, but nonetheless, he's been great, 24 games started so far, he has a goals against average of 2.69, a little bit higher than what you would like, last season he had a goals against average of 2.58 in 45 starts, the year before that, 2.57, that was a very damn good year, and that is also the year he won the Vesna. But Connor Hellebuck was very, very good for us for a long time and has been since probably the 2017-18 season. He has been immaculate, you could say, in that stretch of games. A really, really good starter, top two in the league, you could argue, behind Andre Vasilevsky, and has been good. And this season, he's still been good, but there have been a couple games where I just were angry at his performance because we all know Connor Hellebuck can be so much better than what we see sometimes. In 24 games played, like I said, he's got that 2.69 average, and 11 wins, 9 losses, and 4 ties, overtime losses on his record record sheet this year. Uh, he's made over 683 saves this season. Um, that is, we're at the 30 game mark, ladies and gentlemen, and that is almost ha half, a little over half of what he faced last season. So let's just say that the Jets this season have not been good at a lot with, with the uh, shot percentages, but nonetheless, a 9.16 uh, save percentage or 0 0.916 save percentage, uh, and honestly, been pretty damn good. I'm not going to lie. I've been impressed with Connor Hellebuck's season. I always am, because Connor Hellebuck's a god. He's a Vezina winning goaltender for a reason, and he's been great. But the big thing that moved Connor Hellebuck down for me this year, and I bet you all feel the same way, is because we've had so many rough losses, and a couple goals in those losses haven't been good, and it's not a knock on Hellebuck, because when you're so good and carrying a team for so long, when you have an off night... Usually, you would like to see the team in front of you play better, but when the Jets are the way the Jets were, especially under Paul Maurice in the starts of the season, they weren't getting that luck. Connor Hellebuck wasn't getting the performance that he needed in front of his in front of him, and that caused some you know bad goals to be losses for him, and that really sucks because in the past, Connor Hellebuck has kind of been bailed out offensively a little bit when he's uh, allowed goals. Because let's be real, the Jets defense for the last couple of seasons, you're getting uh, at least three goals against us. It feels like you know what, and that's not a knock on Hellebuck. Hellebuck's just been as good to keep it under eight goals against because he was so good in those stretches where we had no defensemen and Josh Morrissey was being overworked every damn night. And now when we actually have a defensive core, this is teams budding a little bit, right? You have some new improved play. Obviously, Charlie Huddy is still here, uh, so you're not going to have that much of an improved system. But we have improved personnel, and the team has been better defensively this year than they were last year. But when you have off nights offensively where the Jets have been, where they have had absolutely no production, for example, the loss to the Arizona Coyotes. We had over 45 shots against the Arizona Coyotes. They had 15 on us, one goal, and it was a one nothing shutout win for the Arizona Coyotes, right? That's obviously a huge bad luck on Connor Hellebuck, and not because he had a bad night, but because 15 shots he led in that one goal, and the Jets on over 45 weren't able to generate any offense, and that looks bad on the goaltender and the team as a whole. But when Connor Hellebuck has been his best, it's been when the team in front of him actually hasn't performed as well, if that can make any sense. And you guys know what I'm talking about. Connor Hellebuck in the past, when he has faced high shot percentages, high shot volume, he has been at his finest. And it's something weird that Connor, Buck, Connor Hellebuck has compared to other goaltenders. When you shoot on Connor Hellebuck, the more shots he faces, the better he gets. The bigger he gets in net, the more confidence and the better the saves are. He has been really good this year, don't get me wrong, but I feel like there have been some games where Connor Hellebuck, for example, the Arizona game, doesn't get enough 
shots and just isn't himself out there. You look at the first start, the start to this season, his first two starts against Arizona, excuse me, Anaheim and San Jose. Whether or not that San Jose game was the second or third, I can't remember off the top of my head, but they were still really rough games, especially the uh, opening game to the season against Anaheim Ducks. The first two goals against Connor Hellebuck were bad. Connor Hellebuck was not good in that game. Now, the Jets in front of him weren't any better, but Connor Hellebuck was still probably the main reason why they lost, because a goaltender at the NHL level cannot give up goals like that. You just can't allow it, especially when you're a Vesna winning goaltender, when you've carried so much of a workload, you got to be better than that. And Connor Hellebuck has been better than that, don't get me wrong. But because of those bad losses, he hasn't had as much hype and uh, news coverage around him when he's actually been at his best. When the Jets were really, really damn good about, I would say, about that 12 game mark of the season, 12 to 20 game mark, uh... He was, they were great. The Jets were a lot of improved play there. Uh, the, for example, the Chicago win where Eric Comrie was in net, right? You hit, Eric Comrie was in net. The Dallas win, Eric Comrie was in net again. When the Jets played really, really good as a collective team, Hellebuck wasn't in net, and they failed him into matchups where he was in net. And that's been the big thing this year for Hellebuck. If the Jets start to play better as a team, can grow together under Dave Lowry and improve their play, I really expect to see Connor Hellebuck improve with every single win that this team gets. He's been better in the past with way, way worse defense so I can only imagine he will get better, but at some point you just have to ask, you know, how much can Connor Hellebuck really do to carry this team? We've already seen him get us to the second round, and at that point he was baked. You couldn't ask your coach, any, um, Jolie, to do anything else when you've been that much pressure against him, and your team completely falls apart in front of him. Connor Hellebuck has been the only constant with the Jets for a very long time now, and I feel like this year, it's and maybe even last year a little bit, it started to take a toll on him. He's still elite, don't get me wrong, but he's not the number one goalie in the league anymore, right? Like, you could argue that Thatcher Demko has had a better season on a losing Vancouver Canucks team and had better nights than Hellebuck has when the Jets have won. Now, obviously, I'm not trying to compare Hellebuck and Demko right now because Demko's got a long way to go before he gets to that point of being a top five goalie in the NHL. He's working his way there. But I really think that Connor Hellebuck this year just needs to kind of, the whole team needs to kind of gel a little bit more, and then Hellebuck can kind of grow his game. But again, that's just my thoughts. It's hard to explain it. There's just been something a little off about Helly this season. Maybe it's just me. Why don't you let me know down in the comment section below, as always. What have your thoughts been on Connor Hellebuck this year? Are you impressed by him? Do you want to see him improve? Do you think there's something wrong with him? Whatever your theories might be, let me know down in the comment section below, as always. Merry Christmas to all of you guys out there celebrating, and happy holidays to anyone selling other holidays out there in this beautiful world that we have here for all of us humanity. I don't know what I'm trying to say. It's Christmas. I'm going to go out and enjoy some hot chocolate, open some presents, and yeah, relax. It's the holidays. That's what the holidays are for. Relaxing, having a laugh, and enjoying your time with family, even though we can't with COVID, but maybe give them a call. Let them know you care about somebody out there. I know we can't see each other because of this damn Omicron variant, and it sucks. We were all looking forward to this. So give a family member a call. Send them a text. Whatever you want to do, let them know you're thinking about them. I bet it would make their day much, much better. So with all that being said, peace, love, and positivity. Merry Christmas. Happy holidays. Go Jets go. Have a great rest of your day. Enjoy it. Enjoy your Christmas. Enjoy your holidays. And I'll see you tomorrow with number three.